headed down to Fat House Fabrication or Fat House Performance now. Same, same. Uh, they are one of our people that we help out as far as uh, private label engineering and private label manufacturing. So today we're gonna go scan a transmission. We've been working on a transmission pan for the GT500, the Tremec. I don't know what Ford calls it, DCT, dual clutch transmission in the GT500. They were experiencing some fluid starvation and by increasing the uh, pan's capacity, we were able to help solve or alleviate that issue. Um, but we have to scan the transmission at this point because it's a long story. It's a, no, it's not. It's a dumb story though. Um, from the factory, the plastic pan deforms. We scanned the factory pan and it's basically bowed in the center. And we took that as that's how the pan was designed. And it's actually supposed to be straight. So we're gonna go grab the bolt pattern from the transmission on the, uh, the aluminum side, which doesn't deform like plastic. And uh, we'll be making our own pans out of aluminum as well, 6061 T6. Machine them in house on our five axis CNC machines. So at this point, we're scanning the GT500 transmission, which is a Tremec uh, dual clutch transmission for the 500. Um, because Fat House is now twin turboing them and increasing power to 12, 1300 horsepower, uh, they found that basically during launches and the sustained high G longitudinal load, that the pickup on the oil pump for the transmission is actually becoming uh, basically it's sucking up air um, so by they fixed this by overfilling the transmission previously by about a quart but then during normal driving the transmission wasn't very happy with that extra quart so we actually designed and are now developing and finalizing the development of a deeper oil pan which will uh, which actually has already proven to keep oil close to the pickup where it needs to be and uh, the transmission is now happy. All right, we are joined with Ben Stoner of Fat House Performance. And ultimately we're just kind of reminiscing of how Varus and Fat House started out, which was actually CNR Racing. Yeah, back then, yeah, that's what it was. I, I told him in the ride over, it was like probably about 15 years ago. I reached out to you or Jeremy. Yeah, back when we were working on Evos, doing yeah. Evo catch cans. I think that might have been the first product you yep. helped us design. At CNR Racing. And then uh, when I broke off into another company, my own company, um, Ben asked me to continue to design parts. And for the last, I don't know, decade, we've basically developed uh, and helped them develop some of these cool twin turbo parts, um, sheet metal, carbon, machined, whatever they've, silicone, we've done some silicone yeah. parts. Yeah, I mean, you guys have been crucial to our success and being able to package all this stuff into a, a, a kit that has an OEM or better feel. Uh, so we're super grateful for that. So there's three owners, there's John, Jeremy, and myself. Uh, we started back in 2012 and just, you know, three car guys that wanted to quit our day jobs and struggle to try to make cars go fast and, and make a living at it. And you know it takes a long time to get there, and Eric's been crucial to getting Eric and Varus has been crucial to get us to that point where we actually are doing what we really dreamed of and building package cars and cars that customers uh, appreciate and getting the attention of a big company like Shelby American to do a package with them uh, was a huge uh, milestone for us as a company. Uh, you know we started working on imports, Evos and DSMs and Subarus. We did a lot of stuff with those kind of cars early on. Uh, now we're completely focused on uh, the Shelby Mustangs and the Ford platform. Raptor R. We have like seven. Is this your guys's or no? No, it's a customer, a customer build. Uh, twin turbo setup and everything on it, Motec, all that stuff. And the um, we can't get Motec won't work on this because the TCM is built into the ECU. Oh, so they're combined. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't separate the trans computer and Motec can't control the engine and the trans on these. Yeah. It's 10 speed. Um, and there's no HP tuners has not broken 
in the ECUs yet. So yeah. it's just got a can Whipple. It's got a built motor. So this one is this one was completely done and came back. It came here just to be checked over before it goes to the customer. Yeah, so this is one of, one of the 30 code red cars that will be built. This is a completed one. So you're able to see it completed, completely painted, wide bodied, um, all the stuff that Shelby American does, all the carbon fiber stuff. We do all the powertrain, obviously, uh, the engine, twin turbo system, uh, MoTeC tuning, fuel system, all that good stuff. And of course, this has the intake manifold that we were talking about earlier as well. Uh, this is this car was one of our favorites so far. We haven't seen a blue one. This is the first blue one we've seen. So it's nice to see a grabber blue car with the white stripes and uh, really stands out. So it's a cool, cool looking car for sure. All right, guys, that concludes our little shop visit with Ben and Fat House Performance. Uh, we're gonna go back to the shop, finish up that oil pan for them. But uh, yeah, anything uh, to end this out with? Doing cool shit, man. Always. All right, so what we have is OP2 fixture, which means we basically designed and created this in two operations as well, which is a, it's a vacuum fixture. So we're actually going to pull a vacuum on the inside of that trans pan, suck it down to this fixture, and then cut out OP2. And we do that with a Venturi and our vacuum plate, which we use multiple times. And then this is a full five axis part we're actually swinging the axes around so we actually have through table air which allows us to use full five axis simultaneous and uh, we get that vacuum which allows us to cut this part. We're getting this unit ready to be placed in the vacuum plate so because it's a uh, running vacuum we have to run o-ring to ensure that it actually pulls a vacuum on this piece so that's what I'm doing right this moment. Throw it on Wiggle it down, and we're gonna pull a vacuum on it. All right, so this is a Shelby GT500 transpan. It is a little bit deeper, which adds some volume. Uh, what Fat House guys were noticing was as they turbocharged it and they launched at 1200 uh, horsepower, the car uh, was starving itself of oil with the transmission and then that was causing some shifting issues. So we have over a quart larger volume now and uh, the, the pickup's actually lower in the pan and lower in the car as a result. Thanks for following along on a day of private label manufacturing and engineering for Fat House Performance. We enjoy working with them and we enjoy making cool parts that go on some of the fastest cars in the country.